Hi, Chad. Welcome back, and good to see you here to one of my more favorite games that I didn't get too much time to play. This is one of my more favorite genres, though I don't think there's too many games like it. If you're a big fan of games like, for example, Besieged, or uh, there's a couple of games where you can build a vehicle and, like, destroy a bunch of stuff. The, the whole goal is to destroy things, and this is Instruments of Destruction. It's like a whole campaign, different quest. Got to build a custom vehicle to knock down buildings, transport things around. Um, it's pretty cool. There's a few other games that are kind of like in this style. Maybe like Trail Makers and a couple other games where you got to transport stuff or, um, you know, sometimes like destroy a bunch of soldiers and besiege, that type of thing. Pretty cool. Good to see you all back. Hi. Hello, chat. Uh, that music was from Ace Combat. Yeah, Assault Horizon. Uh, or sorry, no. Charged Assault is the name of that game. Or soundtrack for that game, the particular song for that game, yeah. <laughs> uh, so so much good music, you know, for gaming. It's hard to keep it all straight. Well, welcome back. Good to see you all. Thank you very much, everybody, for being here. I hope you enjoy our first look. And uh, I guess this is now the completed game. So we've already looked at the game before, but, you know, now it's, now it's fully out. So let's see what it has to offer. Let's get all the presets set. Ooh, everything looks like it's on pretty much high. All right, looking good. All right, let's play the campaign. Looks like there's also a sandbox mode, and I'm assuming you might be able to download stuff from the workshop too, maybe? Oh, you can actually zoom out on the main menu. Cool. All right, let's play. All right, so it looks like there are 10 islands they want you to go to. Of each, there's a different objective. So we'll try to build like a vehicle for each one. And I'm going to need your guys' help. So anybody here who watches videos on engineering or loves these types of games or whatnot, backseat, pile on in, boys. Let's make a vehicle together. I'm going to I'm gonna listen to your suggestions, and we're going to go ahead and uh, see what it has to see what it has to offer. Looks like there's a normal challenge and a expert mode. That's interesting. Hold on, I'll fix this. Uh, let's try this. All right, so there's a normal challenge in expert mode. Uh, region Scorched Haven, size is uh, 0.46 square kilometer. Uh, yep, kilometers, destruction, zero, total time. Oh, okay, so there's like a challenge mode. I guess the first goal is A, get through the game without dying to death, and then B, uh, come on back for more. I wonder if there's a dark mode for that screen. That is a bright screen. Is there like a dark mode? Film rain, no. Okay, it'd be cool if there was a dark mode for the game. Alright, that's fine. Okay, let's go. Alright, chat. Let's go. Racco Island. Let's begin. And then it looks like you can come back other times, so that's cool. Normal mode. Alright, destroy the tower. Just 10% of... Or less of ruins, destruction, 20,000 maximum budget. All right, let's do it. Uh, build a vehicle or use a pre-built one. Let's, let's build. Ooh, look at the grass. Ooh, that's fancy. All right, so we got to drive up there and destroy the tower. All right, what kind of a vehicle are we making here, folks? What do you guys want to see? Maybe something... It's got to go under the bridge, so it can't be too tall. And we can't go over 20,000, which we're already starting with 850. You remember this game? It is a good game. Hmm. we got a few wheels to start with. Should we start with, like, a little tractor? Should we do, like, a little farming sim tractor? That might be cool. Let's try to do a little tractor. If you guys got suggestions or whatever, go ahead. Actually, let's see what happens if we just hit play. <laughs> it just falls on the ground. I love how the island looks. The graphics are clean. That's nice. And the music is bumping, dude. I feel like we're playing a Sonic game. Very nice. Okay, let's uh, revise. 
Oh, that didn't work out. Darn, I was almost convinced that that was going to be just fine. The Raptor Copter. I think we can unlock aircraft stuff later. Yes, I think you're right about that. What's up, JD? Good to see you. Make a vehicle in the shape of a scorpion. Oh, I like that idea, too. All right, let's start with a tractor. Um, yeah, how do we rotate apart? Okay, R to rotate. But I want, like, a T connector or something. Yeah, like this. Yeah, that'll work. All right, so the chassis will sit on that. We're going to build ourselves a tractor. The bear tractor? Uh, no. Okay, that'll be a heavy beam, so it'll keep it weighted down in the back. Steering wheel... All right, powered large wheel. Oh, we can do double wheels, nice. Well, let's start with just a little tractor for now. Oh, we need a uh, T, uh, like a little joint. Some pieces can be extended with E, ooh, okay. Good to know. Let's build a half beam, then a T-joint. Now, if we have to run into the tower, are we going to just, like, run into the tower? So we could just run into the tower and probably tip it over, but we might need some more weaponry. This is okay. I feel like we can make it a little shorter. A little more stable. Well, let's get rid of this. Put a saw on the front. That might work. I think we'll... we'll okay, if we're going to do that, let's try this. shield. Okay, but let's rotate it. Alright. Oh, we can put it... Oh, this all must be like a logging tractor. That'll be cool. Hey, what's up, Richard Stacy? Good to see you as well. The bear tractor? Yeah. Something like that. Oh, and the space bar will put you in and out of build mode. Good. Right, let's put some steering on here. I think we'll use maybe a... I think the power joint works the way I'm thinking it does. But I want to put the saw sideways, maybe. Oh boy, oh, that's heavy. That kind of works. Okay. But now let's rotate. And try that. Yeah, there we go. Hey, we got ourselves a logging tractor, boys. Okay. That's kind of cool. As long as we don't put it back into the, dri the driver's cabin. Wait, let's see if we can do that. Oh. A safety stop. All right, let's get up there. This is pretty cool. Zoom is really nice. I like that.
All right. Let's turn on the saw. Oh, there's an explosive barrel. Gee, I wonder what that does. Oh my god. <laughs> Chaos failed successfully! Yeah! <laughs> yeah, we did it! Chaos failed to death! A winner is us. Alright, well. Can't get any better than that. Right, well. Oh, they copied my idea, the dump chopper. Oh, what? Damage. Yeah, we caused a lot of damage. That was awesome. Damage, damage, damage. damage. That was hilarious, dude. All right, destroy the tower. Done. 10% uh, less runes destruction. Done. And 20,000 maximum budget. Done. Wait, we got a one star out of that? Oh, probably at the time. Oh, yeah, yeah. Time is also a thing, but... That's alright, for a first run, who cares? That was good! Alright, so now we can do a challenge mode, which I'm assuming is the same thing, but just more difficult. Alright, let's go to the Aquarius Island. Uh, so it's a sunset enclave, 1.36 square kilometers, destruction, total time, that's previous runs. Okay, let's try, try something new. Reach the marker, collect 25 crystals. 25,000 maximum budget. How do we collect crystals? Hmm. Let's let's take a look around and see how it works. How do we collect crystals? Oh, do we just like cut them up like this? Oh, you just gotta bop into them. And then our vehicle... Oh, does that affect vehicle weight or anything? Oh, I guess that's why they gave us the dump chopper. Because we have to, like, gather them up, but also store them. And then we have to go through this building. Alright, we're gonna definitely need something new to get through this. Alright, boys, what do we need? Is there a way to freely look around the map? Weight is not added to the vehicle if you collect? Okay. Hey, Sam Mansell, thank you very much, dude, for the five months as a Raptor Egg. Thank you very much for supporting the channel. That's awesome, man. Okay, let's see. So let's build a... Let's save this vehicle, first of all. We'll call this one the Choptastic Tractor. The Choptastic Tractor. All right. Oh, there's Steam Workshop vehicles, too. We're going to make our own, though. Build something on tracks. I like that idea. Let's do tracks now. Oh, yeah, we got tracks unlocked. Okay. Let's design... something like a bulldozer. Okay. So, let's do a... Um, three-way split. Oh, we could... Okay, we could design something like that. And then let's do... I guess you put it on, then rotate. Okay. Eh, that's sitting up a little too high. Does the blade take damage? I don't think the vehicle could be destroyed. But it can be flung around. I think you only lose if you go into the water. Which makes you feel invincible. Well, let's see how these tracks look. Treads. See how this operates. Oh, cool! It adds the treads afterwards. Oh, wait, wait! Is there mud in this game? Oh, it looks like there's. Di 
Is there a different terrain that'll actually slow the vehicle down? Now that's cool. That's like making your own truck for Mud Runner. That's cool. It looks like it might slow you down, or maybe it's just cosmetic, but that's cool. All right, good thing we looked at that. All right. Hmm. Oh, we also can't go over 25,000, so we got to be on a budget. I like the idea of this small piece. Oh, are these, uh, oh, these are covers. Nice. Oh, snow would be amazing, Aquain Bay. I, would, I, I hope there's snow in the game. That'd be a cool thing to see. That'd be actually nice. Too many games don't really take advantage of the snow other than, uh, like, Snow Runner. But it's a lot harder to perform all the uh, work on getting that done. All the programming and stuff, that's a lot of work. Oh, here we go. All right, so we do have a plow. We have a plow, we have a blade, spiky ball, a hook, a wrecking ball, scoop, and a, a deep plow. I think, okay, let's work on how we're going to uh, mount it to the front. Actually, I don't like that. Let's redo it. Make a shredder blade instead of wheels. Oh. You want to drive on, like, saw blades? Okay. Now we're getting into some kooky ideas. Yo, the em Emerald uh, Gurkham. How you doing? I'm good. How are you, man? Welcome to the stream. All right, this, this actually looks good right here. Perfect. Now, these treads are going to be quite long. So, let's do... The saw blade wheels are a good idea. I don't know if I can actually uh, steer with those, though. That's going to be... That's going to be harder than... Uh, what's hard? Math. One, two, plus three is four. Wait, that's actually true. Wait, is it? Okay. Anyway, um, what are these? Round covers. Oh, dude, you can add sorts of decorations and stuff. Raptor came in like a wrecking ball. Good one. I love it when chat's got jokes. All right, let's go for the medium-sized treads. We'll call this uh, Red Tread Redemption. I feel like we should put something behind. Yeah, we should probably put something behind. Let's put in a four-way connector. Four way cross. Well, actually, it's got to be a six. Let's do a six way. Six way connector. Oh, actually. No, four way cross, we'd still need one on the top. So I guess this one on the bottom, we could just. If we wanted to make it like real fancy, we could just put one of those covers on it, but that adds weight. But that's very Lego of us to like put a little piece like that at the bottom. That'd be cool. Nice glasses. Thanks, bro. Yeah, it's all part of the stream. All part of the fun. Uh, toggle between smaller and larger versions with E. Oh, that's nice. All right, I like that. All right, instead of this, let's put a joint on the front. Power pivot. 1290. I think we want a power pivot. Let's see how that'll work. Yep. Ooh, this feels like a... Can we paint our vehicles? I'd love to paint this like a Tonka yellow. That's actually really a good... That's a good vehicle, man. Dude, I want to put uh, taillights and stuff on this, too. That'd be cool. But since we have the budget, let's add a few more parts. Cool. I guess we need a little armor. Oh, you used to watch uh, Gold Rush and Infra? Awesome, dude. Yeah, we'll probably go back to Infra again someday. I like that game. Hmm. All right, let's move this back a little bit. We'll go with the half piece now. Although it's probably not a bad idea to have it out far in front of the uh, 
tractor either, because then stuff won't fall on the... We're moving debris and not necessarily dirt. Oh, we can have a different cabin? Fall cab, horizon cab. Ooh. Um, I think I like the this one. Yep, I like that one. The box on the right expands settings for items. Oh, oh, here. Oh, you can paint everything individually? Hell yeah, brother. Oh, oh, and you can make your own uh, paint um, jobs as well. Can we actually move ground? Oh. Are my tracks constantly breaking? Wait. That's weird. I'm not sure if... I think, I think something under the vehicle is touching the ground and it's goofing it up. That piece, I think. Yep. Alright, now before we go any further, I want to see if we can add lights and stuff, because that would be badass. Socket, free pivot, suspension. Got hooks and stuff. Okay. Is a crawler track an option? Uh, let's see. Not at the moment. It's like small, medium, and large. Overdrive is an option. Blade, spiky hook, wrecking ball scoop. Oh, some things I don't think I've unlocked yet. We could also put a little dump truck uh, cab on the back of this thing, but... Oh, that kind of looked cool. I don't know. Should we do that? Maybe we'll do a little 90. Oh, it's much bigger than that. Oh, that might look cool. Let's use the Extendo. Love how you can flip that one to two different sizes. That's really cool. Just to be able to hit the button like that, easy. Oh. Wait a minute, can that actually be lifted up? Well, I guess you could use it as an actual dump bed, couldn't you? If we put a uh, a piston back there, we could actually use it as a... Yeah. Yeah, on the chain section, there's suspension. How close are we to budget? 11,000? Seems a little long, doesn't it? Maybe we better just go with a simple bulldozer. But we should probably put some weight in the back. And yeah, we got suspensions, sockets, free pivots, and swivels. All right. Let's go with this. We'll start with this and see how it goes. Oh wait, we gotta collect crystals, so... 
You know what? To simulate the fact that we have to collect tri crystals, I'm going to put a dump bed on this. And we're going to actually make it... We're actually going to make it dump. Okay. Wait, I could I could use a piston, couldn't I? Ah, uh, might not work that way. The dump bed is here. We need a little bit more clearance there. Also, I'll put them on two different controls so that way they don't touch each other like that. Oh, you can only... Oh. oh wait, you can put it on a free joint and then have a piston right there connect to the front. Oh, wow. And actually set up to do it the way it should. That's awesome. Free swivel. I don't seem to have pistons yet, though. Looks like the power pivot might be the option for now. Hmm. Alright, let's do a piston or pivot. to be a little closer, but I don't, I don't think we have a size shorter than that. Cool. Alright, let's put them on different controls. One's just for... The bed is just totally for appearance, that's all. You made a vehicle that uses magnets to tear down buildings. It's called the Recycler. What? Yeah, that might be a cool idea. Alright, let's make this one on controls. Up and down, I guess. Oh, cool. All right, let's go. Let's get to work. That feels pretty stable. Just imagine the crystals going in the back, you know? We're talking about, like, Lego level design here. Oh, we can't go through that house. Oh, magnets with overdrive. Okay. okay. Let's try that again. I don't know if we can go through the house. Well, we probably can, but it's going to be, like, really expensive to get through the house. Because we're going to need a lot more vehicle power. 
Ooh. Yeah, it needs more power, but we don't get an option for engines. We only get an option for, like, drive wheels. There we go. How could I not take out this wooden fence? Damn good music in this game. Well, this thing's definitely better suited for flat terrain. All right, any more uh, crystals? A lot of flooring, chat. That's all it's gonna take. A whole lot of flooring. Yeah, we could try uh, two sets of the smaller tracks next time. See how they work differently. Yep. Yeah. I mean, the game is all about experimentation, so. Oh boy. No. Maybe we better add those other tracks. I didn't realize we had a gap. If we could see the terrain beforehand, it would it would help in designing a, a vehicle a little bit better. Because then we'd know what uh, terrain we were going to have to face. Let's try the bigger uh, treads, because apparently we're much bigger. Our, our vehicle is much more top-heavy than we thought. Oh, this is a much better fit. Um, okay. That building's so strong. Oh, yeah, yeah, we can incre- wait, we can increase the power of tracks and stuff. Where is that? Oh yeah, strength. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Oh, that's right, that's right. And you can do this with rockets and stuff too. Like we can make rocket engines and make them more powerful. Yeah, that's right. All right, so let's make them three times as powerful. Yeah, so instead of adjusting the engine strength, we, we're adjusting like the track. Oh my God. Look at that power. Oh, yeah, that's probably too much power. Hello, I'm home. All right, with that, I really want to be able to adjust some more things then. Oh, that's cool. That's a really great way to adjust it too. That's awesome. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I think we're going to need more weight for sure. But I think we also want maybe... Maybe 1.5... Let's try 1.5. Well, we don't have to go through the building. We will need to get across that gap, though. Wow. 
That's incredibly powerful. Ooh, a Scorpion Wrecking Ball. Well, I, I guess our hardest thing is going to be not necessarily destroying buildings. We don't have to do that. We have to get across that big gap. through there. could also, uh, I think this water here is too deep. I was going to say maybe, maybe we could drive if that's shallow enough, but I don't think so. <laughs> Alright, that's going to be a good spot to land. Okay, we need to redo things a little bit. I like the bulldozer idea. And I like having the dump bed. I think that's good. I think that's cool. We could go for more of a do dozer blade. And we've used this before. bigger one. Oh my, look at that. The developer gave you so many options for things. Wait, can you do the same here? No, but they gave you so many options to flip things around. That's so, that's so good. Wow, okay. Wow, look at that. Wow. Oh, there we go. Okay, that's better. <laughs> Sorry, honey, I forgot my keys. Okay, that was no problem. Okay, it's still, it's, it's front heavy though. So let's adjust that. Uh, let's add more weight. So we can change this to a heavy piece. Hopefully that's extended. Yep. Damn, that looks cool. You remember when I played this before? Yeah, we were playing kind of the demo. Now it's got just tons of options and stuff. That's much more balanced. Not perfect, but... Okay, well... I think now that we added more weight, I think we can up the speed a little bit. So let's go 1.8. Or let's go like 2. Point... Let's try like 2.2. Love these types of games. More games need to just give you tools to solve problems. In a way, this is kind of like, you know, trail makers or space engineers, that kind of thing. Wow, we took the whole damn house. I can't believe that. Oh, 
All right, looks like we can get through through there pretty easy. So, um, let's go for real this time. We're literally robbing people of their homes. There we go. That's a pretty tight area to fit through. Now, the moment of truth, how are we going to get across the uh, cliff of death? I guess we can go right into that guy's house. No! Ah, oh, we were close. That was pretty close. Alright, let's do it again. Just gotta get lucky. Gunstar Heroes. I don't know where this music is from, but it's good. I love these building games like this. It's really cool. You know, this is. it would be cool if this were like a Mad Max game as well. I would love a Mad Max uh, game where you also got to design the vehicles for your faction. And like, some vehicles would have to be economic for transporting goods. Some for transporting like water or troops around. It would be so cool to be able to like... Custom build building uh, vehicles. Custom building vehicles. Yeah, cross out exactly. Good example. That's true. had it bumped off the house at the last second. I think we got a pretty good vehicle for this area. The terrain is just like... It's the water that's the problem. Just going into the drink. Moment of truth. Hmm. Try two point seven. More power. We need more power. Am 
mine now. Wow. That thing could take the whole house. Odin Main, you've been watching for years. Thanks for the awesome videos. Thanks, dude. Appreciate you watching. And this thing's got some fire now. Okay, we should be able to... I love how we're like crushing the dirt. It's like all made of clay. Uh, we don't get any money from the crystals. No, it's just like an objective. Like, they just want us to get the crystals. I, f I feel like there should be an easier way around that. I don't even think we need to go through this house, but it's probably easier than going on the beach. Uh, yeah, we've been covering a lot of the uh, Company Heroes game. There's a few uh, videos of Company Heroes 3 and stuff on the channel. What's up, Liam? How you doing? How am I doing? Oh, I'm a little, I'm a little frustrated. I want to get this mission done, but I think the hardest part is just jumping across to the other side. So I think it's just going to take a little bit of luck. They want us to design a, um, you know, any vehicle. We went with bulldozer, but I think we could design many things to, to do this. I guess the point of the game is once you, once you beat the game, you can come back and play the game again with all the stuff that you've unlocked. Oh. And there'll be more challenge modes and stuff, so it's definitely a game you'll play through a couple of times. No, the darn telephone pole. Maybe we should just make a, uh... Maybe we should just make a, uh... A boat. Oh, yeah, we could use the box as a wheelie bar. Good point. Chat, that's genius. Yeah, we could use the box as a wheelie bar. Unknown secondary weapon. Come on, let us in. My God. These buildings are just made of uh, wood. Oh, you can unlock stuff in the sandbox mode? Oh, that's cool. So you get rewarded just for playing the game. I like things that make you think out of the box, but also reward you. Yeah, we built flying ones before too, yeah. In the demo, we made some really cool, like, jet powered stuff. Oh, 
All right, boys, this is it. Moment of truth. Oh, all the maps can be accessible in sandbox mode, too? Oh, that's awesome. All right, here we go. Pinto Bless. Pinto Bless emote. Yeah. Nope. Oh, man, we were like 90% there. All right, the wheelie bar definitely saved us. I think we got this in the bag now. Let's see if we can go on to the see the next level. Everything is like so heavy, the bulldozer can't push a damn thing. Thing's got no traction. It's as if you were like on a bike. Left side worked. Oh, my bad. Wait, where's the last crystal? We gotta get 25 crystals. Where's the... Did one of them drop somewhere? We gotta get all the crystals before we finish. Each crystal drops how many shards? Oh, they go flying everywhere. All right, each of them drops six. So one of them must have went flying somewhere. Oh, the last crystal's behind the finish point? Oh, okay. We'll just go back there then. We'll grab that one. The next one should bring us up to 18. Okay, yep. All right, now time for the big O jump. Let's go over big O jump. Where's the last crystal? Oh, it's there. Wait, how are you supposed to get up? Wait, if I... Wait a minute. 
Yeah, it's right here. I hope it doesn't tell me, like, good job. God damn. Haha! <laughs> yeah! Woo! So you can touch the marker, but it's not over till you hit spacebar there. First try! Yeah! I think. Nope. <laughs> that one was certainly a challenge. But we did it. Bad on the time, but that's why you need to play them again, I guess. Alright, on to the third one. Wait. Okay, let's go on to Island 3, Libra. Uh, I think getting the crystals was a bonus objective. But you can hit spacebar once you hit the objective. Alright, 75% building destruction, destroy 5 explosive barrels, $25,000 maximum budget. Oops. Alright, so now we gotta build a new vehicle. What do you guys think? Scorpion sounded pretty cool. Alright, let's save this design though. We'll call this one the uh, Box Dozer. So the Box Dozer. this one to uh... oh there's a mirror mode as well nice yeah twenty five thousand dollars is our maximum spending limit right this vehicle was seventeen thousand four hundred and thirty dollars uh... how do I save this design I did it before There we go. All right, box. The box dozer. All right, time to build a new one. So, this one just has to destroy that building, right? And five explosive barrels, okay. So the cab, let's make a tall boy. Something with a scorpion. Hmm. We're gonna need something with a lot of grip. Blade Combine. Hmm. Wait a minute. What if we went... Well, we can only build something this big, but... Hold on, I got an idea. Let's first build a solid frame. Then it's gonna have to be ultra heavy. Nobody on that. Do an ultra heavy T. That connector looks awfully small. Uh, 
Uh, unfortunately, I think this is going to take too much of our budget. Actually, let's make these wheels smaller. So let's go for steering wheel large. We'll go for rear steering with powered drive wheels. Oh my god, that's, that's not going to work, is it? Obviously, we're not done. I'm just goofing around. Wow, everything feels so weak. Oh, ma wait, magnets. A very powerful reversible magnet doesn't affect the vehicle. Oh, we can, yeah, we can pull and push. Wait a minute. Let's make a massive magnet platform. Can we just pull buildings down with massive magnets? If it doesn't affect the vehicle, then that means we don't have to compensate for the pull of the weight. Hold on. Hold on. Big brain emotes in chat. Wait. Better idea is this the triple connector. that's going to work. I guess let's, let's experiment to see if it's even worth our time. Oh, it's 3,000? Oh, boy. Oh boy. Well, now we're over budget, but we can experiment to see if it actually works. Oh, it has to be under 25,000. It's got to be under 25,000. Well, we'll just remove the middle uh, magnet then. We also got to destroy a bunch of uh, barrels, so. All right, magnets are cool, but not for this one. Oh, the magnet's on its weakest setting? Oh, all right. I forgot that we could adjust pretty much everything. Well, let's try it again. Oh, increasing the strength increases the price? Oh. Oh. All right, let's start fresh. Magnets were cool, but let's try something else. Definitely something with wheels. Let's go with the... Hmm. 
I, I want. I feel like I want to have something that swings. Before we did a wrecking ball, and I love to see things go flying on this map. But what if what if we did something that could cut? What if we did a cutting tool? That'd be kind of interesting. We have a blade here. Is there a saw? Like a... Well, there's a circular saw, but I want something smaller. Spinning maces? Yeah, we could do that. Let's try to, let's try to be a little precise. Let's see if we can do it with precision. Let's try to do something with a little bit of precision. see how long these blades are. Alright, that's quite a bit of, uh, that's quite a bit of, uh, length there. The thing is, I don't know if we have pistons that we can use. big old hands and call it the clapper. It's just going to go around and go to everything. That's good. That's a good idea. Well, we could start with the circular saw and do it this way. I mean, we could do a saw, but I like the idea of a blade. Let's see how this will work. And then we should be able to alternate those. Oh, look, we're mowing the grass. <laughs> Our blades are so weak, we can't even mow the grass properly. We can't even cut the grass, they're so dull. Yeah, now we're playing a lot more, Sim. Uh, there's ten islands in total, and then it looks like there's a few reasons to play them. There might be different missions or something each time, maybe? I like it, but I want to try my idea. I, I think it's going to be too weak, honestly. Oh, I forgot to uh, alternate them. Uh, how do you reverse? I could do this. Oh, that'll work. Ah, they bump each other. Hmm. Yep, that's how they make crop circles. Hmm. Uh, we could try it. Uh, should we go with it? Oh, ang angle up a little bit. Oh, that's the rotation of the, um, of the, um, yeah, I, s I see what you're, you meant, yeah. Defon, thank you very much for the six months as a raptor egg. Thank you very much, dude, for the support. Well, let's try a four-way here. We're gonna need a bit of stability and weight in the back, so let's go with a heavy beam. Do a T.
Are we on price? 13,000? I don't even like this. <laughs> oh, wait. Okay, well, there's your proof of concept right there. It kind of works. Okay. I did not expect that to uh, be so effective. There's something to this. I think this is right about this is right about the correct size. We should probably keep it around this size, yeah. Dozer tracks? Uh, we could do that. Yeah, you know, a dozer would sit lower to the ground. Yeah. Yeah, the wheels are super complicated, yeah. Because we'd need to make a massive wide steering system. That's a good point. This looks like scrap mechanic meets teardown. That's a good observation. That's a good observation. All right, let's do a big O powerful treads like we did last time. Those are strong enough, okay. We'll increase the strength. That right there brings us to $10,000, wow. But now hold on, I got an idea. So now, we'll throw some weight in the back, of course. Feels like we're doing uh, Lego. Love it. I need a. Th I, I wish I had a piston to push that out a little bit. Yeah, I want to be able to have it reduced for storage, but I don't have a way to extend. Oh, there we go. Finally, we do have a piston. My mistake. We do. All right, that'll make my design work a little better anyway. All right, let's see how that works.
I think the tracks are a little too powerful. Let's cut the tracks down to 1.5. Way too much power. And then we need this thing to go way faster. Our vehicle is nowhere near heavy enough. Add, add some weight. Oh, you think we should put the blade facing upside down? Hmm, try that. Let's try to reverse it. Any other options? Wait, free, free turning motor with high maximum speed and low torque. Wait, how fast does that go? higher speed. Did I even turn that thing up to maximum strength? Nope. Reinforced. Reinforced must make it heavier. Yeah, the pistons seemed to be pretty strong, didn't they? It looks like they could just ram something right into the building. Let's test that.
you want me to do a four-way mount? Okay. Let's try four. Wait, this is going to have to start extended then, because otherwise the blade's going to poke into the cabin. Yo, Aquain Bay, thanks for the five, dude. Love the streams. Also, there are too many, that's what she said, jokes in the stream and chat. Well, that's what Aquain Bay said. Um, thanks, dude, for the five. Enjoy your day, and thanks for dropping by. Oh, I guess it just kind of, like, slips over the top of the cab, I guess. Oh, hi, Brad Laps. Man, I miss you. I hope everything's well, Brad. We miss you. This thing actually works like a helicopter. You know how a helicopter has a, a rear rotor to make sure that it, it doesn't counter turn? It produces, like, counter spin? I actually have to like turn to the right to counter the spinning. That's that's pretty impressive. I don't think adding more weight to this would affect that. Oh wait, what if we make it so that way when we when we um why don't we add a an adjustable weight to the back via piston power arm? What the hell does that do? Oh, I see. It's just like a... Okay. It raises and lowers very slowly. But powerfully. Okay. Brad Labs, yeah! Good to see you, man. We love you, Brad... Brad... Bramfus. Wait a minute. What if I just put blades on both ends of this and just spin like this? Although, I think we're gonna be over our budget if we do that. Check this out, chat. I got an idea. But I need to make sure these pistons are set up correctly to do it. I'll have to give him other controls, but I'm just seeing what we could do. Even the extremely heavily heavy metal ball can't do anything. But we try to use it as a counterweight. Congratulations, you now have a metal ball, but yes. It extends when we sense danger or incompetent design.
Well, I'm willing to try it. Let's let's see. Got another idea. Another idea. Let's add one to the top. be kind of cool to spend I feel like it'd be a challenge to build a design that's actually useful yeah, we just and increase that one hey they're both the same oh I got to put a thing in between swinging maces for sure. Hmm. I need something in between, but I don't want it to be like more than just a plate. Can we put a panel in between? Oh, you want it to bend forward like a 45 degree angle? Bradford wants to see if it'll have a counter spin. All right, let's try that. I don't know how things work. Anyway, let's go ahead and do what chat says that's a smart idea let's try a 45 degree angle forward well we could just permanently mount it at 45 couldn't we we could just have a 45 degree angle front mount then a sp then we could put a spinner then we could put our mount Oh, there's the five way I was looking for. Ah, that's what I wanted. Probably wasn't unlocked. Um, that's not what I wanted, but okay. Oh my god. All right, for the blades to be properly mounted, we're going to have to adjust them, but let's give it a try. Nope, it sucks. Did I not increase the power? I probably forgot. Oh, you can't do a specific angle? Wait, these two are right. I can't believe how wildly just unstable a little flailing lawnmower blade is. <sighs> 
Shouldn't we try to get it like as fast as possible? You guys want to use spinning balls of doom? Well, that's going to put us... I mean, alright, we can try it. If you want to see what happens, let's watch. Oh, we're already over our budget. Well, let's try two. And we roll over to die. <laughs> it's too much. Okay, we're asserting dominance. Well, it's like wrestling an alligator. That ain't gonna work. All right, let's try the, uh, let's just keep stacking a couple motors on top. Let's just do two, but really, really fast. Let's try that. All these experiments are awesome. We're gonna add two blades. Yeah, yeah, a little death roller. Oh, accidentally put on one. Well, let's see what happens. I mean, it's actually more stable than it was. Somehow. Somehow it's actually better. How come I can't get these blades to be like the right angle? Hilarious. How come they're like rotating the opposite direction? They all should be going the right direction. It's like we gotta put a piece between them. Hmm. I got an idea. Hold on. All right, let's try a fast swivel. Yeah, it's twerking, yeah. It looks like a toy in your Happy Meal? That's one hell of a Happy Meal. Happiest meal on Earth. All right, let's try this. stable more pizza less french fry uh. skiing look at automatically adjust to matches oh look at that it's a little weak a little weak now let's turn it up to three All right, now she's at three. Oh wow, I just ripped that tree out of there. Okay. We add another one to the top. We need speed. 
High speed. Okay, let's try some blades. them on top of each other doesn't really work out. Yeah, they're rotating in the same direction. Well, let's try to add one for torque. pushes this around too much. We need high speed. All right, what else we got? I think the blades are the best because they actually cut through things. Okay, let's try these. That might work. Normal on three, normal on three, normal on three. Yeah, blades are a lightweight solution. Oh, they don't stack? There's only a maximum speed? Oh. Well, if they don't stack, then that's as fast as we can go. work.
We need some rotation. Rotating spikes, maybe. Nah, they're too short. Hmm. Well, we're close to our budget. We can't make too many changes. I think maybe we'll go a little wider. still see it pulling it to the left. Man, that's crazy. I don't know what we're going to do with the front end. I need something to spin faster. We could try to do a giant flail, but I haven't had that work either. It'd be kind of cool to have like something that we could swing back and forth, but... I don't know if that's going to work. How do I make it so it's on a rope? Nah, that's... That's gonna just be too wild. Damn. Be cool if we could, like, launch a ball and, like, pull it back. Like a catapult on a string. Okay, so a couple things. Let's get rid of the uh, thing in the back now. Yeah, we gotta keep things low budget now. Like the streams. We gotta keep everything low budget. Okay, so is that good enough weight for the back? That feels pretty good, okay. So, let's add a piston to the front. We could add a power, power pivot, yep. And then, a piston, okay. We could do a piston chat, yeah. Hmm. Then maybe a power swivel. And let's let's just try with the three. Three point. And then let's try... Let's just look at blades for a minute and see how they work. I 
How is that so heavy? Yeah, we're gonna need to add more weight to the back then. We need leverage, not weight. I can't believe it. Is there a way to make the, uh... Oh, we can't make the piston any longer. Okay, let's set things to different controls. We can start to the, with the vehicle lower. Is there a drill? I don't think so. Oh, I switch things to other controls. Oh, there we go. Advanced needs to be on. The physics are too real. I know. Turn those two to different controls. So this should be like a toggle on and off. Gotta get through here. Oh, that's why I didn't want to go wider, that damn concrete in the middle. You shall be my first victim, Wall. Ah, uh, torque sucks. It's all about speed. Oh, uh, maybe not. No, I can't even tip over a light pole.
All right, so the blade is the best for cutting through those little support arms. But I feel like we need higher speed. Torque's good, but and speed doesn't stack, which sucks. We really need more speed. can't even go get over a concrete wall. And I think the wrecking ball will be too unstable and will throw us all around. We won't be able to control our, our vehicle. And then we'll have to make the vehicle bigger and then we'll be out of budget because we'll have used too much. Does it really need to spin? What if we just went in with, with like a a ram. Like instead of all this, what if we just went in there with a bucket? That might... Holy crap. That actually did something. Well, well, boys. Blades are back on the menu. I'm not sure if this thing is ethical. It's fine. Got it. <laughs> wow. I think this is my favorite vehicle yet. All right, let's um, let's figure out a way to uh, make this more effective. Um, that was good. Now we just got to find a way to add more, more, much more weight to the back end. That was amazing. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, that was impressive. The Bucket Jumper, that's that's a good name. It's jumping for sure. I think we just need to add a ton of weight to the back end now.
It takes that much just to balance that? Oh my god. Now this thing's gotta have like... We're almost at our budget limit. How much is the ball? 2,500? Oh, we won't be able to get more. I mean, this is like maximum budget. It's gotta work now. Wait, does the spike ball weigh more? No, the spike ball weighs less. But it is cheaper. I think I'm out, I'm just, I'm like out of room to place things. I'm having fun. Oh, we gotta blow up these barrels, too. I just don't know how a street light could be heavier than a bulldozer. Yeah. Now we're doing it. Two. Oh, this thing's the best. Wow, this thing's awesome. Get out of here, street light. Wow. That thing's amazing. Now we gotta find some more red barrels. What's up, the weather studio? Good to see you in the chat. Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Big O stream. There's got to be more in these buildings.
where is it? Oh, there it is. There's the last one. Seventeen thousand KG. My God. First try, boys. That was easy. <laughs> Certainly not setting any speed records, but I guess you do that on the next try. All right, let's do another one. Yeah, there's ten islands in total, with island ten being like the biggest. So let's go to level. Wait, can we go to, oh, we're level seven now. So we could actually go to level seven and see what that's like. Where's eight and nine? Oh, we can only do seven at seven. Let's take a look at what level seven looks like. Oh, I think this is all about going, uh, quick. Reach two markers. Yeah, so they want minimal, minimal destruction here. So level seven's about, like, minimal impact. Make a small, fast vehicle. You make, like, a little race car? Let's, actually, let's do seven. That sounds interesting. All right, we gotta save this. This is a treasure. That one's bucket ball. All right, new vehicle, boys. I want something like a scorpion. That was a cool idea. All right, we got to make something small and maneuverable. Yeah, you can save them and uh, share them on the uh, workshop, too, I'm pretty sure. Workshop's cool. I think with other cabs, we can actually build on the cab. Maybe we should try a different... Oh, we could actually build this one onto the cab. Yeah, we could make this like a little skid steer. Which would definitely make it a lot smaller. Oh. Oh, but it has to be 200. It has to, wait, what? The vehicle has to weigh 20,000 kg, though. Holy crap. So we can't just make a little vehicle. It's got to be a little vehicle with a lot of weight. Oh, man. Oh, man. So we just got to fill it up with, like, artificial weight. I got an idea. Hold on. only halfway. That only gets us to 10,000. Okay. 
Well, let's add a five-way connection then on that. Well, you guys underestimate the power of balls. Come on. You guys have seen how powerful balls are. my ball. That's cheating. Looks like there's crystals. Maybe there's a bonus if we get the crystals. Wait, why does that one fall off? Oh, I see. Oh no, we're short by like... Short by like 150. Um, wait, would this increase the weight? No, it just increases cost. We could try to reinforce something though, if it allows it. Okay. Well, let's just switch to the six. There is the six weight heavy, so that'll work. That's wrong. Boy, we look like a busy shopper. Oh boy. Take it. Now we're gonna get detracked. Now we can't adjust the weight of them now. Also, our vehicle needs to be able to fit through really tight spaces, so the vehicle has to be like small. I actually think this is too wide. I mean, what's the heaviest thing in the game? It's got to be this, right? 2,200? Weight blocks, um, there might be a weight block, but I don't, some of these we have to be a higher level for, so we might need to go back and do some of the other challenges.
I think this is too wide. Already. There we go. There's crystals up there. There's got to be a bo- Oh, maybe not. Well, it says to reach two markers. Some of the maps might be used multiple times for different things. Pardon my balls. Excuse me. Oh boy. Um, look away, kids. Oh boy. Yep. Oh, hard mode util utilizes crystals? Oh, so you gotta come... Oh, so hard mode is gonna be like, make a vehicle where you have to get through here and then get the crystals? Oh, that's amazing. Well, that's cool. So the normal mode is just for unlocking stuff. Hard mode is like... I can't believe it worked. Chad, you didn't doubt the balls, did you? Wow, and that actually got a two star? That was the best vehicle we made. It's all about the balls. That was like the fastest time. Wow, even the game's confused. Like, you did it? Yeah? <laughs> well, let's go to Island 8, Scorpius. Destroy eight towers. I wonder if we can uh, use our previous... Uh, oh, wow. Wow. Oh, I wonder if we can use our previous vehicle here. All right, we'll call this one... Uh, there we go. And let's start a... Let's actually load it... <laughs> <coughs> Sorry, let's load a vehicle. Bucket ball. Let's see if bucket ball can do it. Destroy eight towers, but don't destroy anything else. I should be able to turn on uh, headlights and stuff. Wow, it's sustained a hit. Actually, did I, did I turn these pistons on maximum power? Oh. These pistons aren't even on top power. And if we put them on... If we put them on toggle mode... Wait, no. Oh, that's that's hitting with the force of like 500 miles an hour. Like, look at look at how quickly. Wow, that's uh, the yeet bucket now.
That's one. We're not supposed to ruin anything but the towers. I guess that caused a little bit of extra damage. So we're only supposed to touch the metal, the metal tower part. Damn, that's cool. Oh, we gotta get this one across here. Yeah, brother. Whoa, 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 okay. Life alert. Oh god. Oh. Hello. Unstoppable. Unstoppable. Wow. Absolutely unstoppable. Now we just gotta get out of the ditch. Go left, baby, go left. It won't go left. Go left. There we go. I got turned around. Oh boy, that's going to take a whole lot of flailing. Unstoppable, man. Thing's still going. Oh, oh, it's hitting the bridge or the the tower. 
<laughs> it's hitting the tower. can't believe it. It's actually still alive. I'm glad we didn't die in the water. That's a massive accomplishment. Come on, baby. Let's try again. Look how the light post never gets taken down. That was a little bit too much damage. Got an idea though. What's up, Holly? Welcome to the Big O stream. All right, we're gonna do this instead. a little bit of damage. Hey, just punch it.
All right, that's two down. Oh, there's four right here. Apparently that doesn't count as the not the tower, okay. All right, that's six. All right, where's uh, number eight? Oh, there's two over there, okay. Great, now we gotta do the hard one. Maybe we should go from over there. Okay, we should have went nose first. Wait. It's swimming. It's swimming. All right, now we just gotta get on the island. Uh oh. Nope. That's fine. Damn it. Ah, <laughs> I should have went first. All right, let's uh, let's try to go uh, front ways this time. We tried the back way, but other than that, we got it. I can't believe the uh, other two in the middle, or the, the four towers, I can't believe that destroying the stuff around them doesn't actually, like, count for damage. What are the balls for? Counterweight? Uh, they're truck nuts. And before this job, this tractor worked in uh, transporting nuclear waste. Shiny balls, Chat. Nothing better.
Wow. Oh, we're all we're all crazy off to the side on that one. All right, let's see. Okay, let's try that out. Ooh, that was good. Straight in and clean. 0% damage to anything else. Nice. Hits, baby. That is not a lot of damage. It's actually precise damage. All right, new record, boys. I think we're doing well. Now comes the hard part. I think maybe we should cross here. But just do it better than we did. There we go. Yeah, the arm has a piston on it, and it has the ability to do this. <laughs> Smash it in the ground. Oh, my bad. Um... That'll buff out. Alright, time to put the balls to work. Yep. Oh, that? It was all in the balls. Dude, the, the hammer? Wow. Yeah, chat was saying add the swivel, but you guys were right. That turned out awesome. That was great. Yeah, sometimes you can go balls first, I guess. Totally fine. 
What a hell of a game. Uh, let's see. So we just did eight. So we're now level nine. Ooh, let's see the second to last level. Hercules. So we got to carry something. Oh, I've done this mission before. Destroy 60% of the buildings. Destroy five landmines. 45,000 is your maximum budget. This one's easy. What else is there? Because the demo, I think, had like level one... Four and nine and three, I think. Oh, we haven't seen six. Let's take a peek at all the missions. This one wants you to submerge ten containers, destroy the building for thirty thousand. So they want you to destroy. I love this this art style. It's like um, it reminds me of a bris a bit. This looks so good like a prison or like a submarine pen dude look at this the hammer's got no problem dealing with this oh boy okay never mind Okay, note to self, don't go in the water. Yeah, it looks like the game besieged, yep, but with like modern construction equipment, it's pretty awesome. You just take a little off the top. Th now, see, this is a cool mission. Destroy the entirety of the building and throw everything in the water, that's cool. Well, let's go destroy the big section. Actually, I don't think we have to destroy the wall. I think we just have to destroy that over there. The wall you just destroy to get the containers into the water. Or we could um, we could get rid of the bucket attachment and add a magnet. And then you could just use the magnet to throw the containers in and then go balls. Balls to the wall on the building. And then you could use this to, like... You could use this to fling them and then t detach the magnets so they go flying. That would work. Oh, that would be so cool. Alright, let's at least destroy the building. Woo! That destruction looks so good. Look at that destruction, man. It's all about the balls. You forgot your coffee mug in there? Let's try to get the rest of the building. Yeah! <laughs> oh, that's cool, man. I love that. The containers will be easy, just time-consuming to go find every container and then just push them into the... It's just going to take time to just basically push them right into the wall and then into the water. This was the coolest map yet. I like this one. My, this is my favorite one.
Yep, don't think so. Damn, this vehicle's stable as hell. That was awesome. All right, let's see what the uh, construction options are now that we're at this level. I, I think there are gun attachments and some other things we can get too. We just need to be a higher level. So some of these are like level 13, so it's at least worth feeding the game once. Replace the bucket with another ball. We could, but it's, it's going to be way easier to push those containers with a bucket. The bucket's good because it covers more, I don't know, like more support area. That's kind of cool. Oh, and look at that. $30,000 maximum budget. We're, we're under budget by just like $900. That's crazy. Nine seventy-five. we're under budget. That is an inf incredible vehicle. Um, so we're on level 9. So wait, we just took a look at 6. 6 was cool. Loved 6 a lot. Virgo. Let's play Virgo and see what that one's like. 80% building destruction, destroy less than 20% of ruins. Okay. So they want me to destroy the little buildings around. And not the ruins. In other words, precision. But this uh, power line I can see is going to be a giant pain. What? These are just a pushover now. You just drive into them and you're good to go. Awesome. What a hell of a game. All right, let's take a look at the... Um... Wait, let's go back to the islands. So wait, did we see all the islands? Okay, let's make sure we got them all. So island one, we're done. Island two, we're done. We saw Orion just now. Centaurus. This one says new, but... Is it because we haven't played on it yet? see oh yeah yeah oh this is different destroy four buildings so if we go there and the normal build oh this one's just like we can wipe the map oh yeah break it down my man let's destroy this vacation vi villa Oh my god. Look at that. Oh my god. Dude, the little bits go everywhere, man. All, it's all about them little bits. You like this game, Raptor? A little bit. <laughs> Imagine if that wasn't the building I was supposed to destroy there were five buildings we've actually done artillery and stuff before in this game now that I remember you could actually like make giant artillery pieces and stuff and use all the guns as like propulsion of course you don't get it till later in the game but that's what's fun is you master just ramming and kablamming yeah it's just a vacation penthouse bunker you know with giant you know security towers and stuff Yeah. Oh, that building just gave up. That building didn't want to put up a fight. See, now we can push it all into the ocean. Cool. We need more co-op building and destruction games. That would be amazing. Look at how look at how cool that looks, man. Yeah, there's uh there's like jets and I I think there's like helicopter. There's ways to fly and artillery. Imagine flying artillery. Yeah, the destruction in this is like really satisfying. I mean, look at that. And there's a sandbox mode, so if you just want to, like, you know, try to make the biggest machine ever, 
and just crush everything by rolling over it. And go do that. Take that white castle, that's for short changing me. What I crave is my 13 cents back. Are you too long, John Silvers? You, you didn't think it was an escape, did you? Wow, look, it even gives us angle, like an angled attack, too. Like we can. We can, like, change the shape of our bucket. <laughs> Look at that. That's so amazing. You can just... Boom, perfect fit. Knocked right out. This is an amazing vehicle, man. And it's pretty easy to control. It still feels a little light, but... Like I was saying, it's about speed, not torque. Isn't this satisfying as hell? Wow. That's amazing, man. Whoa, we took out the whole wall. Wow, look at the look at the bits. The bits. All the bits. Getting down to bitness. Oh, secret objective to do the containers. Well, we may as well do that. All we gotta do is just pull up and just launch it. Done. Easy. One's in the chat if that's satisfying. Just to see all those little bits and stuff going flying. Oh no, I tipped over. What am I gonna do? Oh. Let's try to get the rest of the containers in there. What are we at? Two? I see a third one over here. Oh, three, four are back here. Looks like we're in a junkyard now. Oh, oh my god. Uh, my bad. That was the propane tank for the grill. Well, sorry boys. Meat's off the menu. My bad. Oh, look at that destruction. It's so good. Whoa. The best part is like the little bit of dust. It's not just the... I can't believe this. It's not like the little... The little pieces are something, but... Like the dust, you can tell, are even smaller. That's amazing. And this game is well optimized because the levels are small, but there's a lot of... There's a lot of stuff at a tiny little level to destroy. But it's an art style. That's cool. Reminds me of Teardown. One more to go. What's that? Oh, those those containers are filled with PS5s? Oh. Well, we better finish what we started. Job done. Yep. Bringing it home, boys. Well, 
Ooh, there's a a new vehicle, the Bash Buddy. Yeah, this is some hell, hell of a good uh, destruction game, that's for sure. And we did like a little secret objective. That I, didn't, I guess it's secret because I didn't read. <laughs> I had forgotten about it. It was probably there, I didn't see it. All right, how many we, we completed? So all but like a couple. Oh wait, level 10. We gotta see what level 10 is like. This is like the last level. Reach six markers and finish in two minutes. Oh, it's a, um, oh, it's a race. Where's marker one? Over there on the right, okay. Well, we're gonna have to make something fast for that. Let's see if the, um, let's see if they have like, Auto, like, do they give us stuff? Pre-made stuff? No case vehicles. The Javelin Launcher. Tornado Rampage. Oh, Tornado would be perfect. We already saved our other vehicle. The only thing we changed on it was the rotation, so that'll be okay. Wait, what the hell? Huh? I don't know what's going on. How do you... Wait, do you drive this thing in reverse? I don't know what the hell. It's too fast! Alright, that was an okay one. What else they got? It's too fast. The recoiler looks good. The dumpy plow. Mega climber. Let's try rampage. Oh, sweet. Looks like a Mad Max vehicle. Use the wheels to destroy stuff? Okay. Uh, I can't even see where I'm going next. Oh, up, up there? Alright, we're gonna win this race. Let's go. Actually, I don't think we can do it. I guess you just need to know where everything is before you have to go there. Or have a turbo booster. Booster? Booster emote? So I guess for this map it might be helpful to have like a rocket engine or something to get you across all the planes, because there's like plenty of open space. I think we'll be able to get five and then we'll run out of time. Yeah, that's true. You use this as a scout mission to find out where they are. Then you make a vehicle to get there knowing what the train is like. I see number five over there. Oh, wow. That pulled me right in. What else we got for other vehicles? That one was okay. We need something faster though. Maybe the recoiler? Oh boy, that's a gun. How do I shoot the gun? Oh, look at that. They mounted the gun onto a suspension. That's cool. What is Anxiety Train? Is that a vehicle? There's rocket train. Hold on, we gotta use the rocket train. Uh 
Oh. I hope this is fast enough. This is what that's what I'm talking about. Oh baby. Now that's some horsepower, brother. Just pure rocket fuel. What kind of tr fuels your truck take? Solid boosters. Look at how good the rockets look. That, that's awesome. All the little details and stuff in the... I love, I love a good little detail. adding drag okay next one's over there that's number five <laughs> my bad coming through Imagine if we were a little too wide for that bridge. Woo. Ooh. Imagine building a rocket power bulldozer. Yeah. cool. Wait. New showcase vehicle unlocked. The rocket train. Wait. We already had it unlocked, though. Did I go into the future to get myself the rocket train in the past? Oh, you're welcome, Raptor. Thank you, dude. Oh, he's the best, isn't he? Let's hear it for myself. Oh, stop it, you. Stop. <laughs> Hell of a game. Alright, there's a couple more focused on uh, destruction that we didn't do, but let's see if there's, um... Is there any islands we missed? That we just didn't take a look at? No, I think we took a look at them all. A couple scenarios I didn't wrap up. That's fine. One, two, I see three. Three ones that are just a little more specific vehicle-wise. That's cool. Alright, so then there's an expert mode and a challenge mode to complete on those. So those are even harder. And then there's a whole sandbox mode where you can adjust gravity. Oh, Pog. Wait, let's build. Now, what kind of vehicles do we have access to? The Turbo Mini Driller. Oh yeah, a lot of these unlock at like level 11 and 12. I, some, I don't know how I unlocked a rocket train, but I did. I'm interested in the mini driller. Let's see what this what this does. Ah. Isn't level 10 missing? Uh, level 10 was the race one we just did, I think. Oh, this would have been perfect for the... Uh, Oh, the moment that hits something, though, that's going to be incredibly unstable. Super unstable. Yeah, mission 10 is the, uh, yeah, 10 is Ares, and we did that. That was the race level. Cool. Very nice. All right, guys, uh, instruments of destruction, cute, clean, and simple with a hell of a lot of great detail. If you like this game, by the way, there's another game coming out soon called Aris, which is like destruction in German. You may have seen a demo on the channel before. We've, we've covered that game, too, uh, building a lot of buildings in, like, a weird futuristic setting. But this is really cool. This is definitely a great game for problem-solving, for families, for kids, and um, 
anybody really to just learn like a little bit about physics and use all of the um, the things that you learn in order to unlock new levels. I like it. And I love the vehicles we designed today. All right, guys, I'll see you all very soon for more on the channel. I'll see you all tomorrow. Thank you very much for watching. There'll be a new video out tomorrow as well. And we're getting closer to my birthday, so we're going to have some giveaways and such on the Discord. So if you're not a member of the Discord, links are down below in the description. Join the Discord so I can give you some giveaways for my birthday. Coming up soon. We'll do some more stuff this weekend too, so if you're a member of the channel, make sure you go ahead and jump on the Discord to take advantage of those perks. And of course, to join me for some cool multiplayer stuff, we'll figure it out by the weekend and up until my birthday. So thank you for your support. So why not become a member of the number one community on YouTube? Thanks again for all the big O super chats. Welcome to all the new members for the week. And thank you very much, everybody, for leaving a like on your way out. It helps the channel to grow, helps more people find the show, and of course, these awesome games. I'll see you all later. Take care, and good night, everyone. Goodbye.